Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, I will be teaching you about Dunder, also known as Magic Methods, in Python. This is the seventh video in the Python Objects Oriented Intermediate series, and by the end of this video, you will have a great understanding of Dunder methods. If you haven't seen my previous episodes, then the playlist link is in the description. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Caleb Short, and I post great programming tutorials and other computer-related stuff, so if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Okay, so what are magic or dunder methods? Well, we have already used the dunder method, the initialize method, and what we mean by dunder method or a magic method is a method that has two underscores either side of a function, for example, like the init. The init method is a dunder method. Dunder methods are how Python actually works underneath. For example, the addition operator is actually a, a dunder method inside of a class, and we'll get onto that later in the video. So let's get right into it. If we just create a class called tree, so class tree, and we create an init method, we'll have self name branches and leaf color and this init method right here this is a dunder method itself because it's got these two underscores either side of it and then we'll just do self dot name equals name self dot branches equals branches and self dot color equals color okay so if we create an instance of this class called t Okay, so we've created our instance and now we need to pass in uh, a name, so uh, let's just have an oak tree. Branches, let's have 10 branches, and its colour can be green, green leaves. And now let's print out t and see what happens. Print out the instance. We get main tree object at this long string of text, and this long string of text right here, this is a location in memory, so the RAM inside of your computer. That is what this location is right here. Okay, so now we have done that, let's go back into our tree method and create a dunder method called wrapper. So define underscore wrapper, and I'll explain what this does in a minute. Self. And wrapper basically allows us to control what gets printed when we print the instance. Inside our wrapper method, we should return a string, so return... How about we return... Okay, and now if we run it again, we get name oak, branches 10, and colour green. So the wrapper method is called when we print an instance. Before we had our wrapper method, Python didn't know what to print out, so it just gave the location in memory. When we print out the instance, it's going to go back to this wrapper method and see what it returns, which is this string right here. Just down here, let's just print out 3 plus 5. And we run it, and we get 8, of course, simple stuff. But what you probably didn't realise is that these integers, 3 and 5, are actually objects, and this addition operator is actually a dunder method in one of these objects. And if we create another instance... Yeah. And then how about we do t plus tr, what do you think is going to happen? If we run it, we get an error. Unsupported operand types for tree and tree. And in other words, they don't actually have the add dunder method. So let's make our own add dunder method in the tree class. And by the way, magic methods and dunder methods are the same thing. So define add self. And the parameters for this should be self and the second operand, which I'm just going to call x. And then let's add the amount of branches. Okay, so here we need to return. And for this we'll just return self.branches. So first operand's branches plus the uh, second operand's branches, which is x. So x.branches. And then if we do print let's do t plus tr and we get 30 because 10 plus 20 is 30 and obviously we could change this to I don't know self.color plus x.color 
and this would return concatenation because string plus string gets concatenated into green and orange. And of course there are plenty of other dunder methods, there are loads and loads of them, way too many to cover in this video, and this video is just supposed to teach you about what they do. I will leave a link in the description to all of the dunder methods and what they do. So that's pretty much it for dunder and magic methods, and this is also the end of the Python object oriented programming tutorial series. The next series I am planning on doing is an advanced Python tutorial series, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I am interested in what you guys would like to see on this channel, any tutorials or modules you would like me to cover. Make sure you leave your ideas down below. If you would like to support me, be sure to drop a like on the video, it really helps me out. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below, I always reply to you guys. That's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.